Hey guys, how is it going? It's Faco coming at you once again. And today, we're going to review uh, Viego, the newest champion coming to Legends of Runeterra, alongside the champion release package that we were getting in some other cards. Uh, I think it's going to be really cool now that we know kind of like the trend we may or may not see going into the future is that as champions get released in League of Legends, to, they too will be released in Runeterra shortly after. I think that's fantastic. Anyway, Viego is a new champion coming to Shadow Isles. He is going to be a 5-mana five 5-4 five champion with Fearsome. But what's more important is like what he does. And what he does is each time or each round, the first time an ally dies, summon an encroaching mist. This is the little encroaching mist on the left here. 1-mana one 1-1 one 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 when I'm summoned. Grant all allied Viegos and other encroaching mists everywhere. Plus 1, plus 1. This is a firm reel. To level up Viego, you would have need to have seen 20 plus total uh, power die from allies. That level up condition is difficult, so it's going to require a fair bit of support if leveling up Viego is something that you are aiming to achieve. As for the encroaching miss, they are a pretty good value. Uh, obviously, like the first time an ally dies each round, so you need to have allies dying, whether it's from combat or if you're using uh, slay effects like self-sacrifice. Uh, self that condition is a bit awkward. As for the encroaching mists, it's not going to be all the time that you do get that supreme value where you are attacking with the encroaching mist, if you think about it, because you need an ally to die. Sometimes that will be from combat or sometimes you'll have, a, have, to, have to use other cards to get that effect. So you're not always going to get that like supreme value as i said making the mist a little bit more balanced now once viego levels up at the round start steal the strongest enemy this round if it's a champion kill it instead now that effect is extremely powerful which is why the condition to level them up is a bit challenging but i think with some deck building and experimentation there's going to be a decent Viego deck because to sum it up, I think Viego is a fantastic champion. He's extremely powerful. I'm going to give him a 5 out of 5 for the potential on this reveal. Now, I think I'm going to compare Viego a lot to Zoe in the sense that whether or not you actually build a deck specifically for Viego, which you kind of do need to do, but at the same time, not really, because Viego is a unit that once he enters the battlefield or enters the field, enters the board state, he needs to be checked by your opponent. Otherwise, if he levels up, it is ridiculous. Similar to Zoe, it's almost game uh, winning. The value is nonsense. I think Viego is actually, to sum him up, I think he feels like a really strong mid-range card. And I think he might be able to slot into some previous decks as well as maybe spawning some new archetypes of like mid-range Shadow Isle decks. But um, I think, for example, initially, a deck that I can see Viego slotting into right now is actually going to be the Cythria Matreon decks. I think Viego might actually be a fantastic card for that deck. Since they didn't really specifically have any champions that made a lot of sense, I think Viego does actually make a lot of sense in that deck because uh, whether or not they deal with the Viego or not, it doesn't matter. That deck already has supreme late game value that uh, can deal with a lot of control decks. And I think adding in a Viego as a decent mid-range unit and then like if not dealt with can obviously help you to just snowball the game. Now you probably will build the deck a little bit differently while still maintaining the core of like the top end of Matreon, Cythria and probably playing like Stalking Shadows and, uh, Stalking Shadows and stuff still. It, I'm starting to see that this champion release bundle, some of the cards that we are seeing, is kind of also making some of the balance changes they recently did make a lot more sense. Like, can you imagine two mana stalking shadows still alongside Viego? You'd be able to do some pretty crazy swing turns. But nonetheless, I think Viego is definitely going to find a home. I don't think he's going to be anything meta breaking, but I think he's going to like it definitely spawn or support previous like tier two decks for sure. Uh, let's go talk about some of the other cards right now, though. We also have Viego's Despair, his signature spell, and Despair being a main deckable card. This is going to be a pick a unit and strike your nexus, then kill it. This card is supreme. This card is crazy. This is just essentially a four mana slow speed spell that lets you deal with any threat on the field. Sometimes it's not so much about like the fact that it's striking your nexus. Sometimes you just need that cheap, consistent removal against threats, whether or not they have huge stats or not. Sometimes you just need to get something off the field because it being on the field is threatening enough. 
this could honestly just be good against like even overwhelm units for example even cheaper more threatening late game units like that for example like how do i explain this like think about lissandra being close to flipping four mana get rid of it whether or not they buff it or not it's just very clean um unironically i think outside of viego i can see despair slotting in um into how a spooky ash or just frostbites in general combo with this card incredibly well similar to kind of how calling strike works i think if you frostbite something then play despair on it that is like hoggers <laughs> And I think uh, Spooky Ash might actually find some space to play this card because honestly it's not. So it could even just kind of uh, be slotted into other free old decks that might splash um, Shadow, uh, Shadow Isles as well. I think uh, Despair in itself is a really fantastic card outside of this whole uh, Nexus and Slain package. Let's talk about some of the other cards. So we have the Cam um, uh, Camavorian Soldier. This is going to be another card that supports the Encroaching Mist style. So when I'm summoned, summon an Encroaching Mist. Now, whether or not the Encroaching Mist ends up being the most relevant part of Viego's kit, where immediately I don't know if the Encroaching Mist, they'll be really good, but I don't know if they'll actually impact that much towards Viego's level up condition. If the Encroaching Mists are just really good, Cam uh, Camivorian Soldier will be a three of in any Viego deck. It's like a staple auto include. Uh, but if the encroaching miss don't turn out to be as hot, you probably see this being in a, one of the cuttable cards because uh, I think ultimately leveling up Viego is going to come from uh, bigger units later in the game kind of dying. Now, uh, as for some of the other cards, we have some new dragon cards coming out too. We have Kajugan, the Ruined, a 6 mana 6 6 Demacia card. Uh, it has Fury and a play effect of granting an allied champion or dragon. Challenger. Now, immediately, I don't actually know if this this obviously ex obviously we'll see experimentation at first, but I can definitely see this being one of the cards that you choose not to play in your Viego deck specifically, unless you are splashing Demacia. That is just because like the granting of Challenger isn't always relevant, I guess to say. And it's a six mana six six, not doing a lot outside of that, other than being a dragon with fury. If Viego decides to be like the Viego Shivana deck with the Cithrion or Matreon, or whether or not you don't play that, um, even then still, like whether or not you would play Kadrigan or play that many copies of him is yet to be seen. I can see him being like a one to two of two B max inclusion in a Viego deck. This card is okay. Uh, Ruined Dragon Guard. When an allied with Fury kills a unit, grant it in an additional plus one, plus one. A three mana two four decent. Uh, Damasia mid-range card. This is stat stick offering some synergy to your Fury cards. Um, I, I think this card's okay. I, I don't know if you're like it would slot into other current dragon decks. Like, is this going to be the card that you want to be playing with Viego? I don't honestly know. It's like they want you to build Damasia Viego, but I don't know if that's going to be it. Like, uh, we might get some more cards, but I'm not entirely sure if we're going to see that many more cards for Damasia or Shadow Isles. Uh, Ruin Dragon Guard's okay. I think, uh, obviously, when we see these two dragons down here, Crawling Viper Worm and Camavorian Dragon, you can see that maybe, like, the Dragon Guard does make a little bit more sense, but even then still, I think these dragons offer a different uh, power point that isn't, like, like, Dragon Guard isn't going to be, like, the supreme value that you get from these. These are just going to be more ways of triggering Viego's effect. This doesn't actually specifically help Viego that much other than offering a little bit more stats on units to die. I think this could definitely be, like alongside Kadrig and the Ruined, these two cards could see experimental cuts. Obviously, they'll be played with at first, but I think we might see them not being played alongside Viego. Uh, the Crawling Viper Worm, a two-mana dragon for Shadow Isles. Not only are we getting a cheap dragon, which I've been waiting to see, but it's also coming in a different um, region. Crawling Viper Worm has a play effect. I strike an ally or deal 3D a Nexus to summon it, similar to Butcher in its play effect. A slight downside for a powerful unit because a lot of the time you'll be wanting to strike a unit so you can get that uh, plus one, plus one because you're probably going to kill it on curve. And this comes down as a two mana 4-3, uh, which is quite powerful. We can think about Curse Keeper being the most closest similarity to this. I think Crawling Viper Worm is fantastic. I think it will see some, uh, definitely, definitely will see 
permanent inclusions alongside Viego Dex. I think this card is fantastic. I think it's going to like look the most clean alongside one drops such as uh, Hapless Aristocrat and anything with like slight last breath or multiple summons. So you can play this more consistently. Aristocrat would definitely be a key card to play alongside Viper Worm. If a planar on curve is the kind of like go to play like if you don't like maybe we don't have to play this on curve and then we're not playing like aristocrat just for it but yeah aristocrat into viper worm is pretty good curve i think i would be including aristocrats in my viego decks to kind of like go alongside these uh playing and killing and stuff like that so camivorian dragon is going to be a form of four three with a similar effect of striking an ally or deal three to nexus this is going to be a fearsome and uh fury keyword combination it's kind of a little bit counterintuitive those two keywords but um nonetheless cool combination i guess and then as the effect of when i slay a unit drain one from the enemy nexus now this doesn't have quick attack or anything special like that and whether or not it survives its first battle is yet to be seen so i think on average you'll probably get like the slay or drain effect off once so it's not like an insane card, but it's pretty reasonable. I think you play the Crawling Viper Worm and the Dragons for their striking of units and synergy like that. But in the end, I don't know how much more these cards do help to support Viego's specific level up condition. But, you know, they could make a lot of sense alongside the Encroaching Mists. And like, I think you could see this deck that displays eight, like every single Slay and self-sacrifice synergistic card, so it all makes a lot of sense. Um, but yes, I think these cards are pretty cool. Viego is definitely very powerful, whether or not you're playing these new followers alongside him or slotting him into this Cithreon Matreon deck. I think Viego is just a good value card. And as I said, I compare him a lot to Zoe, where unchecked, he's going to win games. Awesome stuff. Five out of five. What do you guys think? Have a good day.